Hello, chemistry students. Today, we will be performing the Friedel Crafts Isolation Experiment. In this experiment, we will perform a Friedel Crafts Isolation of an aromatic compound using acetyl chloride. The aromatic compound that we will be using is toluene. Let's get started. We will begin by adding 0.8 grams of anhydrous aluminum chloride to a 25 milliliter round bottom flask. The mass of aluminum chloride that we will be using is 0.8127 grams. I've added the aluminum chloride to the round bottom flask and we will next add two milliliters of methylene chloride and a stir bar to the flask. I've connected the 25 milliliter round bottom flask with the aluminum chloride and the methylene chloride to the reaction apparatus, which consists of a Clayson head that has been capped with a rubber septum on one side and the other side has been connected to an acidic gas trap consisting of a thermometer adapter, glass tubing, Tigon tubing, and an inverted funnel positioned directly over water in a beaker. We will next transfer 0.5 milliliters of fresh acetyl chloride to the round bottom flask using a one milliliter syringe. We will insert the syringe needle through the rubber septum and add the acetyl chloride slowly over a two minute period. We next need to pre-weigh a three milliliter conical vial. The mass of the pre-weighed three milliliter conical vial is 23.2889 grams. We will next add 0 0.5 milliliters of toluene to the pre-weighed three milliliter conical vial and then re-weigh the conical vial plus the toluene. The mass of the pre-weighed three milliliter conical vial plus the toluene is 23.7390 grams. We will next add the toluene with the same syringe through the rubber septum slowly over a period of five minutes. We will next rinse the three milliliter conical vial with one milliliter of methylene chloride and then use the syringe to transfer the rinse to the reaction flask and stir for an additional 30 minutes. After stirring for 30 minutes, we will next remove the gas trap from the Clayson head. Using the syringe, we will next add four milliliters of ice cold deionized water slowly to the reaction mixture over a period of five minutes. We will next add four milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid to the reaction mixture and stir vigorously until all of the aluminum salts have dissolved. At that point, we will discontinue stirring and allow the organic layer to separate. We will next transfer the reaction mixture to a 15 milliliter centrifuge tube. We will then transfer the lower organic layer to a five milliliter conical vial using a filter tip pipette. Make sure to avoid transferring any of the aqueous layer to the five milliliter conical vial.
we will next add one milliliter of 5% aqueous sodium bicarbonate solution to the five milliliter conical vial containing the organic layer. We will cap the vial and shake it gently with venting until the evolution of carbon dioxide gas is no longer apparent. We will next transfer the lower organic layer to a new three milliliter conical vial and dry over an hydrosodium sulfate for 10 to 15 minutes. While the organic layer continues to dry over an hydrosodium sulfate, we will next pre-weigh a new conical vial. The mass of the pre-weighed conical vial is 28.6633 grams. The product dissolved in methylene chloride may be colored at this point, and some of the color can be removed using column chromatography. I've prepared a chromatography column packed with alumina, and we will next add the methylene chloride solution to the column and collect the eluent in the pre-weighed conical vial. After collecting the liquid, we will next add one milliliter of fresh methylene chloride and collect that eluent in the same conical vial. Next, we will place the vial in a 40 degrees Celsius water bath and direct a stream of air into the vial to evaporate the methylene chloride. Once the volume is constant, the methylene chloride has been removed. After evaporating off the methylene chloride, the mass of the pre-weighed conical vial plus the product is 29.1425 grams. We will now perform a microscale boiling point determination of the 4-methyl acetophenone product. Okay, students, you can now calculate the percent yield, determine the boiling point, and analyze the infrared spectrum of the 4-methyl acetophenone product. This concludes the Friedel-Crafts acylation experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.